Well, and welcome a winner, an LV Cup winner. Congratulations, Thank first you very much. Foremost. How Thank was you. Uh, How was it? Is that after the game? Yeah, it was good. Um, we didn't really get a massive chance to celebrate, but, um, uh, you know, everyone's pretty happy with the win, and uh, it's, it's just a good, it's a great competition, and we're uh, really excited with the win. You didn't have a chance to have some of the wolf, your wolf pack? Bit. Oh, what? Well, a premium lager, that. A, lo <laughs> a lovely lager. Um, I'm sure by they'll the be. Brewed the Saris boys themselves, isn't Indeed, it? yeah. Hey? Al Hargreaves and uh, Chris Wiles promoting it. They must have had a few cases of that on the bus, well, surely. A couple, a couple. You got on for, on for 30 minutes, a little mm -hmm. bit of a run out, but a heck of a game. What, yeah. what sort of boost does that picking up silverware give you for the rest of the season? Yeah, I think we've got, what, six guaranteed games left. Um, you know, so going into that, I think it's just going to be. It's going to be huge. I think uh, the, the campaign that, that LV Cup teams uh, given to us is, is, you know, they've, they've tried ev everything and and we came away with the silverware. So um, it's going to be a big boost for us. There's only uh, there's only a couple of um, couple of years really that I would have said you were the future stars yeah. and yeah. it was all bright for the players. You're a senior pro now, six England, <sighs> seven England caps. I beg yeah. your pardon. Um, what about those players that are coming through? Who, who shone for you yesterday? Who are those names that we're maybe not seeing in the Premiership yet, yeah. but we're likely to? Well, there's quite a few, I think. We've got um, a great academy system, um, but Maro Toji, uh, you know, he's, he's captain in the under-20s. Um, we've got Ben Spencer as well. He, he, was, he played Saxons already, but... You know, these two are, are, are pretty hot and they're, they're, looking, uh, they're looking like they're going to uh, do he, some good he, things he in the future. kick that goal at the end yeah, like, under mean, all that pressure as no, well. Yeah, no, just Scrum yeah. halves. They've got it all, those <laughs> boys. They've got it all. Now, uh, we've got the scroll. You know about the scroll. A little yep. bit of information on you. Um, very nervous, disappointing, yeah. Ugo. The, the first thing I'm going to state here is it was born on the 22nd of February 1990, which is only a year before I started playing rugby at Northampton Saints. <laughs> I'm officially an old git, that is for sure. Um, six foot six, seven, I'll say 17 stone nine. Is that fair enough? 112 kilos? 116. 116, are you just adding? You're giving yourself, no, no, giving no. yourself a few kgs there. <laughs> I read a story about, in 2009, you going to South Africa with a bunch of boys from Dorking mm -hmm. to go and watch the Lions. Yeah. And you were 14 stone. Yeah, I was pretty skinny. Um, How on earth do you put that weight on for starters? Oh, I, I, I met a uh, SNC coach and, uh, and found out that nutrition is, is pretty vital. But... Um, I think the first year at Southsons, I, I put on three, three stones, so uh, it was funny, I, I walked in... Just eat all day! <laughs> yeah, yeah, and plenty of gym. But, um, yeah, first day I walked in, the, the backs coach, who was uh, Jan Bonny, he stepped on the scales, he was 92 kgs, and I kind of went in behind him, and he was, um, I was 91, so I was, you know, it was, it was a bad, bad time for me. He was a junior. So, on that tour, you must have been watching Ugo. Ugo yeah, was like an idol, wasn't he? Yeah. And, and, and Paul O'Connell, yeah. who subsequently, your last game for England, was against Paul, Paul yeah. O'Connell. Give us a little bit of insight as to... Though you must have had a moment before that Ireland game thinking, well, it's only a few years ago, I was, I know, yeah. I was travelling to go and watch Paul O'Connell play. Yeah, it's, it's odd. Um, I think he's just been such a, such a big feature in, uh, in Irish rugby and, and obviously for, for the Lions as well for the last well, decade or so. He's, he's, been, he's been massive and... I guess he hasn't really tailed off at all, you know, he's, he's playing some of his best rugby at the moment, so uh, fair play to him.